Hello, my name is Russell Brown. I'm a systems engineer with Cohesity, and I cover uh, New South Wales and uh, ACT, so uh, Canberra. I'm here today to talk to you about uh, cloud recovery. So really, it's, it's DR from the cloud is, is what I'm going to talk about a little bit. Um, and this kind of came out of a situation I'm working through with a customer who wants to do some backups locally to uh, one of our uh, virtual edition systems, but then move that data out to Cloud Archive for long-term storage and uh, also keep a copy on premise. And then his question was, well, what happens if I lose my system on site? Can I recover from the Cloud Archive? The answer is yes, of course. So with Cohesity, the way we deploy our data platform is we can deploy a virtual edition, which can run in VMware, of course, Hyper-V. Uh, and um, then we also deploy as a physical appliance, um, which is you see here in the middle. And uh, then the other part, we can deploy our data platform in the cloud. On any of the data platform systems, uh, we can store our data. And it's going to be you know, a parallel uh, hyper-converged storage system that uh, allows you to have two copies of data uh, at all times. So in the event of a single node failure, we've still got a copy of the data. And if we, in our larger cluster systems, if you had a double node failure, we'd still have a copy of your data ready to go. One place we don't have that at the moment is right now with our virtual edition. We are going to cluster that in the future, but right now, let's talk about a virtual edition deployment that you would have at a, uh, a small remote site or maybe even a small customer that only has a few terabytes of data and not uh, a much larger system. So here's what that design looks like. The customer is going to deploy a Cohesity Virtual Edition. They're going to take snapshots of that local system um, and then they're going to back that up to uh, the Cohesity Virtual Edition in this case. From that point, we have all our policies established. We can go ahead and recover the data locally, individual files, uh, virtual machines, virtual disks, all these kinds of options. We can also write the data from there out to the cloud or send it off-site to a physical uh, cluster as well. Now, all of our systems have the same HTML5 GUI. They're all going to uh, you know, work quite frankly, they're all going to work exactly the same across the board. So there's no special uh, hijinks, really, that you have to run through to move data from one to the next. So what I'm showing here in this diagram is that we would do that local backup. And then in this case, this customer, he wanted to write two archive copies. So he wanted to write one to a physical appliance at his central data center. And then he wanted to write um, one copy out to a cloud provider. And of course, we can write that to to Google, to AWS, to Azure. We can also write it to other S3 uh, or NFS even uh, compatible storage. So what we do is we go through, and this is kind of what the Cohesity GUI looks like. I'm going to go ahead and, and set up my policy. And so I'm going to have a, a backup job and I'm going to have a backup policy. Now what you see here, you see that I've got a couple different jobs set up. and the one in the middle is the one that I set up today for, for this vForum event. And what you'll see is the first column under where it says status, as I look to the right there, you'll see that I have a success there because I've run my backup job. So I did a snapshot of my, in this case, it was a 20 gigabyte uh, Windows VM, pretty small, but just, you know, for, for argument's sake, that's how it works. And then once that backup is complete, we then make that copy out to the cloud. And so here you see that, um, in the copy task status, I've gone out to the cloud. By the way, I can make multiple copies at the same time. I can also go to multiple cloud platforms and uh, you know multiple physical locations if I like. Uh, in this case, just for demonstration purposes, I've only made one external archive copy. This is typically where you would set your longer term retention is with that archive copy. Here I've shown that we've run the backup. We've completed the backup. So it ran relatively quickly. And what you see is because we dedupe and compress and all that sort of thing, and this system had been backed up before to this Cohesity Virtual Edition, there was just a very small amount of data that it was transferred, but I am protecting the whole system. Now, we see this backup as being successful. The next tab you see up there after backup task is Cloud Archive task. Now, when I look at the Cloud Archive task, what you see here is the amount of time it took to transfer this data off-site to a remote location, and I've written that copy of the data. So 
you'll also see that I didn't transfer 20 gigs, I only transferred a, a smaller amount thanks to the dedupe and compression on the source side before we transmit the data. And of course data is transmitted uh, encrypted as well, so no trouble there. Now, I've gone and I've, uh, in this case, it's kind of subtle to see, but if you look in the upper left hand corner, you'll see that I am now on a system that I've called Cohesity 02. So the first system I backed up to the first Cohesity system was Cohesity 01. Uh, if you happen to go back and take a look at that, I should have mentioned it before, I suppose. At any rate, uh, what we've done here is we have mounted this external target now on a new Cohesity system. So I'm essentially going to import foreign data from this, you know, alternate, you know, Cohesity system and bring it into my Cohesity system that I've located off-site. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got to create that external storage connection. And then now I'm going to do what we call Cloud Retrieve. Cloud Retrieve is going to allow me to search that data that uh, we've, we've written to that external target, which again, like I said, could be any of the cloud providers, S3 or NFS compatible storage. Once we've searched that target, we're going to discover these jobs. And we're going to discover what we've archived off-site. Now, once we've discovered it, I can't restore it directly. I need to bring it back into my local system so that I have a copy locally in case I need to do subsequent restores. And also, um, at that point, I'll be able to set up new protection jobs to protect what I've recovered now at my DR facility. And so here, what we see is we've gone ahead, I've done my search, I've discovered these VMs, and now if you look in the right-hand side, I just right-click my mouse there, and I can go ahead and recover that snapshot that I've downloaded back to my local system. Now, I'm going to go ahead and perform the actual recovery. And what you see here is I'm going to recover this to a new vCenter, and I'm going to recover it to a new data store, and of course, I can select all the folders and, and all these sorts of things where I may want to store that virtual machine. And uh, I have the option, this is one of my favorites here, is to detach from the network. So in, in this case where I'm demoing it, uh, I don't want to bring up two conflicting systems that appear to be the same system. So uh, I can detach that from the network. And by the way, when we go ahead and restore this, which I'm going to show you here in just a second, this is going to come, come alive on the Cohesity storage. So we're going to do essentially what we, what we like to call instant mass recovery. Um, and that would be with multiple systems. In this case, we're just doing one system. So we're going to go ahead and perform that restore. It's going to write out to the new vCenter. We're going to create that new virtual machine, as you see being created here. At this point, that system is alive. It is up on the Cohesity storage. And now you're going to see down there the storage vMotion beginning to happen so that I can go ahead and move that data, move that virtual machine out to my new data store and then continue to run that in production. So that is pretty much how simple it is. Obviously, it's going to you know, take a little bit of different time depending on uh, how much um, data you have to move and, and what those bandwidth and pipes are like and that sort of thing. I did run into a situation just yesterday. I was testing with a customer where they had written their data to an archive uh, storage at a cloud provider. And it took a little bit longer to get it back due to the service level with the cloud provider. Um, so with that, that is uh, what I wanted to show you how I would successfully do a recovery from a disaster if I lost my entire Cohesity system. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to reach out and contact me. And I look forward to speaking with you. Thank you.